Good afternoon, good afternoon to everyone out there in video land. We thank God again for bringing us together by way of Facebook to bring you greetings from the Oak Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Why, your armor servant Thurman Cunningham Sr. is the under shepherd. This afternoon we are coming to you with a few songs of praise. A few songs of praise. And one is, I'm so glad trouble don't last always. I see all the names already popping up. Come on, quiet. Come on, quiet.
Can we get a witness out there? Trouble don't last always. We coming to you again with our second selection this evening. I need the Lord to reign on me. What about you? My granddaughter, Kiara is coming in her own way. I ask you to pray that God will anoint this program. Let him get all the glory. He get all the praise. Come on, Kiara. Yeah. Let your glory fill this place. Go ahead, go ahead. Let your rock and soul be fire. Fill this tap. Yeah. Bless all of you. I see the name. I see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This evening to just shower us down with his blessings. And what I love about him, 
That's what he wants to do. When you think about what Jesus said in that 10th chapter of St. John, I came that you may have life, that you may have it more abundantly. And somebody out there, I believe you agree with me that God has shown enough good. But there are some are struggling, trying to make ends meet, struggling, trying to be there for their loved one, trying to keep their family intact. And I start by to tell you, those of you that are going through this evening, God, through Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit is right there at our disposals. All we have to do, ask and believe. And we shall receive. Notice what I said. Ask and believe. And we shall receive. We're going to go into prayer for all those that may be going through this evening. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come this evening on this rainy day saying thank you for giving us rain. Some of us feel that we have enough but you the God that knows all. You the God that sees all. And you also are the God that do all. What is for the best for your people. In my prayer this evening, that your mercy, that your mercy and grace would be with those who are in bereavement. Be with those who have lost their job. Be with those, oh God, who are struggling with loved ones. Be with those who back is up against the wall. They don't know which way to turn. But I pray, Holy Spirit, lead and guide them. And it may be somebody that don't know you. But Lord, you're the light of the world. You works in mysterious ways. So Lord, I ask you to even help those don't have a relationship with you. That they too can come to know you in a real way. Lord, we're praying for our civic officials, those that are in high places, those who are making calls, making choices, what to do as we go through the spirit of this virus. Lord, I pray that you guide them. I pray that they do not rush Oh God, getting back to normal, our normal way of living too quick. I just pray that you will just lead and guide them. Lead and guide them. And then Lord, I pray for the body of Christ where we have been placed out of our somewhat comfort zone, our place of worship. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you will Spring each pastor, each member of the body of Christ, and just let them know that this is only temporary. But most of all, I know what you want. You want our true praise, our true worship. So Lord, I'm praying this evening that you will bless us, bless your word, Thank you for those who already who have preached today. And I pray that lives 
be changed, burdens be lifted, that men and women would know without a shadow of a doubt that there is a God somewhere. Bless this evening your preach word. Bless your arm of servant. And I'll continue to praise your holy name. He said, Jesus' name I do pray. And the church said, Amen. 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 We're going to do one more song before I him before our sermon, rather, for today. How many know that the Lord is blessing you in spite of right now? How many know that out there? That the Lord is blessing us right now in spite of what we're going through. And while we're singing this song, we want to send a shout out to our oldest deacon and his wife for their 60 year anniversary of marriage. Brother Clayburn and Eddie Jenny, congratulations to you. I know the Lord is blessed you. Come on and join with me.
God is blessing me right now. This evening, I invite you to go with me to the 37th Psalm. Psalm 37. Beginning with verse 23. Psalms 37, beginning with verse 23. And this is how it reads. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. Verse 25, I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And just for a little while this evening, I want to talk from a subject, confidence in God. Confidence in God. Confidence in God. The writer of this psalm has been a credit to David. One who, as a lad of a boy, got acquainted with God at an early age. As a shepherd boy, he experienced the presence of God. Even as a young man, he also experienced the power of God working in his life. When he slew the giant Goliath. But as he grew to be a young man, grew to be king of Israel, he saw a lot of things that God did through his life. And as he reflected on it, people, on his life, he said to us this evening, I've been young. Anybody ever been young? Anybody out there have ex experienced youth? And now you are seasoned, we won't say you're old, but you are at a seasoned period. And through it all, you've been young. Now you see them, yet have you not seen the righteous forsaken, meaning God have never forsaked us. Those who are, who have put their trust in him. And the writer says, neither his children's begging for bread. It make me think about how I was brought up. My family wasn't as fortunate as, as some of the families that came up in my community. My father who worked in a sawmill all his life, my mother, she worked in a home. Father said to me one day, son, I came up rough. I came up in a hard way, but God always made a way for me and my family. You don't know nothing about this, Thurman, and share with my other brothers and sisters, Silver. He said, I worked hard all day for 50 cents. Somebody I didn't believe that, but if you are older, 
around 80 years old somewhere there, you, you ought to be a witness because time was rough. Work for 50 cents. But none of us is still alive. And he always, some way, somehow, God kept bread on our table. All right now. It may not have been that home that we had carpet on the floor, had chandeliers in the ceiling, but it was a home. May not have had all the windows panes in it, but it was a home. I never heard my daddy complain about the condition, but he always said the Lord will make a way All somehow. Right now. All right now. And now here I am, 64 years old, and I can tell, I can be a witness myself that God will make a way. All right now. As Warren would say, I don't look like what I've been through. Come on, help me somebody. All right now. Looks can be deceiving, but I stopped to tell you this evening to give you a word of encouragement. You may be down, but if you know Jesus Christ, you're not too low for him to pick you up. You may be confused. You may, you may be questioning God like Job did, that perfect and upright man. But God is a God that's can be trusted. You need the attitude of Job this evening. When things is rough in your life, when you can't see your way, be like Job, even though it, it seems like God, you're, you're, you're forsaking me, but yet I'm going to trust you. Confident in God. Trust in God. Leading not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. David says, listen, I got comforted because I witnessed what God did in my life. Do you have a testimony? Because if, if you haven't been, in it, been through anything, you really don't have a testimony. Amen. Do I have a witness? Amen. Notice what the sermon says. Fret not, verse 1, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be envious of those that work as of iniquity because they'll soon be cut down or cut off. Yes. What, is, what, is, what is the sermon is saying? Don't get sidetracked Come on now, now. by what you see. The prosperity of, of the wicked. Don't, don't, don't be uh, sidetracked because God got a time set. Come on now, all right, all right. He got a time set for the wicked. But God going to still take care of us. Amen. Can I get a witness out there? It may look like life have thrown you a curveball. It may seem as though that life have given you a lemon. But just find you some sugar somewhere. All right, now. Okay. Come on, help me somebody. Yeah, yeah. And make you some lemonade because I cannot forget how I was brought up. Papa and them may do. They may not be good English. They, they, they may do with what they had. Make the best out of what you have. And this is the word of God. Be thankful. For what you have. Come on now. Be thankful. Right. Listen, he woke us up this morning. Yes, the storm is raging, but thank God for shelter. Thank you, Lord. Right. He woke us up and gave us a reasonable portion of our health and strength. And that same God who woke us up. He's going to take care of us. That's reading the sermons. And I don't need the sermons this evening. I can tell you from personal experience that God is my refuge. Come on now. now. He is my very present help God. in time of trouble. Trouble ain't going to last always. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Are you glad this evening? Yes, Lord. 
The sermon says, you want God to take care of you. It's in your Bible. He said, the steps of a good man, the steps of a, a matured person yes, yes. are ordered by the Lord. Listen, even though you're grown, you still need to obey God. All right, all right. The step, he's going to show you how to walk. In a mean environment. He's going to show you how to talk. He's going to show you how to behave. In a mean and sin cursed world. Yes. He'll make your enemies confused. Yes. Come on help me something. Yes. I know him in the word. Think about Psalm 23. He says. Thou prepares a table. All right, I got confidence. In the presence of my enemy. My, 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 my. When my mind is not working right, he anoints my head with all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And right now, I'm a witness yes, God. that he is blessing me with an overflow. Yes, God. And all I tell you, just wait on your Woo. season. My, 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 my. Wait on your due season. Don't look over in that other fellow pastor. Just, just wait on hey. your season. All right, all right. Because all of us got one. Yes, yes. If you cast your bread upon the water, it's going to come back to you. If really genuine praise go up, blessing going to come down. Yes, all right, all right. Come on, help me now. Amen. Listen to what the sermon says. Verse 26. He is ever merciful and lenders and his seeds is blessed. This is the steps of a good man. He, God is ever merciful and lenders and his seeds is blessed. God it's blessing us right now. Yes. I can't say that enough. I got confidence. Yes, right now. I got confidence in God. Yes, yes. Despite of what is going on presently, and I don't want to give a whole lot of credit to what is going on yes. presently. We need to be thinking about the God who is able. Come on now, right now. Don't be afraid of. Be cautious of, but don't be afraid. Of this virus that you are afraid to move. Amen. But trust God. Trust God. See the Hebrew boys. They went into this fiery, fiery furnace. They had confidence All in right. God. That he was able hey. to deliver them. I got confidence. Yes. That this stone going to pass. My, 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 my. I got confidence that this too going to pass. Yes. I got confidence in God. That he won't leave us in this predicament yes. forever. Yes. You know why? Because he's a God of love. Yes, yeah. he is. He's a God of mercy. Yes, he is. He's a God of long suffering. Right now. And as I leave y'all this evening, keep faith. Yes. Keep the faith in God. Yes, yes. Don't go back for nothing. Regardless to what the laws of the land may say, yes, yes. and I believe they're doing their best, but God will put man in a position that he, he can't do nothing but look up. Do I have a witness? Amen. All right. But the Lord is telling me to tell you this evening, look unto the hills. Which come with all our help. Yes, yes. Confidence in God. Stay focused, people. Stay focused. And I got to say it again. Don't get sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. Don't get sidetracked by anyone. But just wait on God. Yes. And David said it. And I'm a witness that the Lord will keep bread on the table. Come on now. 
He'll keep a shelter over your head. He'll keep your clothes in your right mind. He'll give you strength when you need it. He'll sign you where you're blind. I'm talking about Jesus. Do y'all know him? How many know him this evening? If you don't know him, he is married, baby. The one who came down through 40 in two generations came down here and tabernacle down in this sinful world for 33 years. He came on a mission. He had confidence when he left heaven that he will return back to his father. He walked among mean and low down men. But that didn't stop him from doing his father will. Right. They lied on him. All right now. They talked about him. All right. They called him out of his name. Yeah. But Jesus, Jesus had confidence yeah. that no man could take his life. Yes. But freely he lay it down. Yes. He had confidence that God wouldn't leave him hanging all by himself. He had confidence when he went out on the Sea of Galilee. Right. When the sea started raging, on, yeah. disciples got frightened. Right, Somebody woke him up and Jesus had confidence that he could calm the storm. Right, I stopped about to tell somebody whatever stone is going on in your life right. he is a stone yeah, yeah. calmer he is a peace yeah. maker yeah. whatever is going on in your life right yeah. now yeah. all you got to do is just call on Jesus yeah. Yeah. the one who went Yonder's hill. Call God Gotha. Yes. Nailed to a cross. Yes. Had not nobody wrong, but nailed to the cross and hung there. Yes. From the sixth to the ninth hour. Right, hung, bled, and died. Right. But he had confidence. Yes. In three days, yes. he was going to get back up. According right, to the scripture, he died. Put in a barred tomb. Ooh. I'm glad it was barred. Yes. Put in a barred tomb. All, right. All night. Yes. Friday and Saturday night. Yes. Sometime full day, Sunday morning. Right. Jesus and God had a conversation. My, 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 my. God said to him, if you go down right. and redeem man, yeah. I will Rise you. Yes. Pick you up from death. Yeah. Right early. Right. I say right early. Right early. early. Yeah. Sunday morning. Yeah. He robbed the grave. Yeah. With all power. Oh, no. Heaven in his hand. Yeah. And right this day. Yeah. On this 19th day of April. Come on, yeah. If you got the faith. God got the power. Right. If you got the faith of a grain of a mustard seed, yeah. whatever that mountain that is in your way, yeah. you can speak to that mountain right. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And that mountain will be removed. Right. Whatever it is, on, call on Jesus, yeah. the road of Sharon. Yeah. Call on Jesus. Yeah. The lily of the valley. Right. Call on Jesus. Yeah. My bright and morning star. Yeah. Call on Jesus. Yeah. My bridge over right. trouble water. Right. Call on him. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And he will come yes, Lord. to your rescue. There's power yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. I said there's power, people. 
in the name of Jesus, their deliverance. Somebody know ought to know that this evening. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Do you have covenant? Do you have that covenant that he's a healer? Yes, yes, yes. Do you have that covenant that he can get you up off your bed of affliction? Do you have the confidence? That that disease that you that you have, that he can heal you. Do you have it? Right. Jesus said to Zacchaeus, rather to Jairus, when his daughter died. You know what Jesus said? Have faith. Have faith. People, there are more to come. Other than this virus that we're dealing with. But God. But God. He want to heal you. Oh, I hear it in my spirit. Everywhere you hurt. He want to provide for you. He want to see you through. As the choir come, and as I end today, I want to thank them for being so faithful. My wife, Melody, my daughter, Lakeisha, Craddock, my granddaughters. I have another one with us this evening, Adrian, Craddock, and Kiara Martin. And all those that are working. I'm talking about the Grove now. That are faithful in your continuous giving. God bless you. And you're going to see God do some wonders in your life. And I'm not trying to pump you up, but I'm just telling you how I feel, what I believe. Amen. By you being faithful. Yes. We're not even at that physical building. But by you being faithful, to God and faithful to your church you watch God work he want to heal you as we leave you this evening I want to pray Minister Pratt is going to lead us in this song and I want you to join in with me Father I feel in my spirit through your preached word that your word has touched somebody who have lost confidence in themselves. They have lost confidence in their family. And somebody even having a problem with you, Lord. But this evening, I pray in Jesus' name that you touch that person, our person, and let them know even though things may be looking dim, even though things may be rocky. I ask you in Jesus' name to help that person realize that life is a test and you the God that can turn situation around. That same God through your son Jesus who turned water to wine I believe you can make bitter water sweet and somebody right now is drinking bitter water some drinking tears for sorrow but Lord I'm asking you to take that pain take that pain away in the name of Jesus that sickness that problem trying to figure out how they're going to pay their mortgage 
take all those negative thoughts and turn it into a positive. In the name of Jesus, Lord, tell them, show them that you can do it. You can do what? You can do everything except fail. Bless Lord Jesus like only you can. Lord God, we'll continue to praise your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Chime in with us today. These are some trying times. But I'm here to tell you. I'm here to share with you. God is a God that can be trusted. He can be trusted. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. We pray to God we'll see you next time. We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. All the names. I see your names popping up. Good to see your names. But let us pray, people. Let us pray. This is not a plaything. This is serious business. Because somebody's life is at stake right now. And I pray that this word that went forth this evening will lift you up. Lift you up. And encourage you that life can be better if you only trust God. God bless you. And may God keep you in my prayer. Until we meet again. God want to heal. Come on. God bless you. We want to finish the song. Come on. Bless you. Come on.